As a fast-growing country, Malaysia cannot run from increasing burden of chronic diseases. Diseases such as diabetes, hypertension, heart disease, high cholesterol are synonym with the lifestyle of the current generation. And so is chronic kidney failure. Local statistics have shown the increasing number of new patients starting dialysis each year. This reflects the number of patients developing end-stage renal disease or kidney failure despite having modern medical facilities and widely available treatments. If this is not controlled, the mortality or death rate from kidney failure will definitely increase, especially if earlier treatment is not performed. Do you really know what is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease is a disease that disturbs the normal function of the kidneys. There are many diseases attributed to the cause of chronic kidney disease such as diabetes, hypertension, inflammation such as chronic infection, connective tissue disease like SLE, kidney stone and taking medications known to harm the kidney for example painkillers, traditional medications, herbal therapy, and unlicensed medications. If the risk factors are not well controlled and failure to seek early treatment, chronic kidney disease will eventually lead to kidney failure. Kidney failure is dangerous because it will lead to death. The best treatment is kidney transplantation. However, many patients have to undergo dialysis first before proceeding to transplantation. There are two types of dialysis, hemodialysis and peritoneal dialysis. Peritoneal dialysis is the preferred choice of first dialysis. It is easy and it provides freedom for the patients as it is time flexible. Patients and assistants, if present, will be given proper training to do the dialysis before doing it themselves at home and or workplace as permitted. Even though peritoneal dialysis is a better choice of first dialysis, it is not the preferred choice by most patients. However, there are some patients who are unsuitable for peritoneal dialysis and have to go through hemodialysis. Both methods of dialysis have their own advantages. However, peritoneal dialysis has more benefits. The third option is kidney transplantation. With kidney transplantation, you will no longer need dialysis. In the initial part after successful transplantation, you are required to come for regular follow-up, which may be as frequent as three times a week. After kidney transplantation, you are required to take medications to prevent your body from rejecting the kidney. You need to take these medications as long as the kidney remains functioning. There are two types of kidney donation. The first is disease donation, in which means the kidney comes from a donor who has passed away. However, you may have to wait for a long time for a kidney from a diseased donor to be available. And in Malaysia at present, the waiting time can be up to 8 to 10 years. The second type is living donation, in which the kidney comes from a living donor, usually from family members. If you have a willing donor, your waiting time for a kidney can be considerably shorter. The success rate in living donation is also higher. Patients who were diagnosed with kidney disease should discuss with a doctor. The doctor will list your name on the organ receiver waiting list 
and determine whether you are eligible for receiving kidney from a deceased or living donor. As of 31st December 2011, there are more than 25,000 patients undergoing dialysis, of whom 15,000 are eligible for kidney transplantation. However, in the year 2011, we only perform 81 kidney transplantation in Malaysia. You can make a difference by signing up as a potential organ donor. There was a significant change in life when I was diagnosed with kidney failure because uh, every day you have to undergo the CB dialysis. I was put on the waiting list for about four years when I signed up and there is available kidney for me from a deceased organ donor. I was very happy. After transplant, first thing I did was to further my education. I successfully graduated in 1999. I regularly follow up in Kuala Lumpur Hospital to follow up the medical checkup, my blood tests, and so far I'm very healthy. After the successful organ transplant, I was able to carry my twin girls and my girls, my elder girl was very happy. They say now father can carry me. It's basically every time I go for dialysis, it's like I run a marathon. So it takes me about 24 hours to recover and 48 hours later, I am back again on dialysis. The operation was done on the 26th of, of June. Now I am, now it's almost four months almost four months after the operation. I am uh, basically eating and drinking everything normally. I'm of, of course under immunosuppressants and medication, but I'm able to travel. I've so far already gone to Bali once, uh, and uh, before this I couldn't plan to travel anywhere because I've got dialysis every 48 hours, so it's very difficult. I want to tell the people who are sitting down at dialysis or, or CAPD, try, do not be afraid because these doctors really care for you and they will really take the time to build your confidence before the operation. The donor is my wife. As a wife, I see him every day wake up in the morning in so much pain. He has to go for dialysis, come back and live half a life. So um, it, was no, it was no hesitation for me to donate. I am completely fine. I am. Uh, I'm healthy, I'm back to work, I'm going back to exercise because it's after post-operation. Post I'm going back to exercise, um, I'm, I'm doing very well. For those of you who are considering organ pledging, please do so. You, your donation would make, would change somebody else's life forever and that is the best gift you can ever give someone. Even though kidney transplant is the best treatment, not every patient are as lucky as Mr. Manville and Mr. Lee because the reality is there isn't enough number of donors in Malaysia. That is why the Ministry of Health encourages all of us to register as donors. Undeniably, kidney transplant is the best treatment for patients with kidney disease. But I would like to remind you to keep leading a healthy lifestyle because prevention is better than cure.